posted. It's out there. Okay, so Uber's been called, everything's packed. Uh, I'm heading to the airport and I gotta be honest, I still can't believe I'm doing this. This could be crazy. <laughs> Here at American, need to check in, catch my flight. Okay, so I'm here at SeaTac. Um, got a couple hours until my flight. I'm one of those people who likes to get here early, so I know that I'm not gonna miss anything. So as I sit here and wait for my flight, this is all really, really weird. You know, uh, I've owned two RVs in my life. Uh, got them both in Florida, Tallahassee, actually midway just outside of Tallahassee. Um, and I just remember how excited I was each time uh, when I picked up my RV. You know, it was, um, it was just, I don't know, the coolest thing to me in the world. And this feels a little different, but I think still really cool. Okay, so I'm minutes away from getting my first RV. I got a killer deal on it. Camping World has been really great. I'm gonna begin my tiny adventure. Okay, so I'm uh, now an official RV owner. Not gonna actually pick it up today because it's gotta get serviced and do some more things, and uh, which is good because I still have to find uh, a place to store the bad boy. But uh, gonna try this new adventure. Don't know if I'm gonna do full time, but uh, initially just get it out on the road, start doing it, see what happens. <laughs> Crazy. I know, right? Right, 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 right. Merry Christmas to myself. This is my new rig. Yeah, it came out of the blue. I wasn't even really looking, but I stay in touch with the guy who sold me my first rig, Greg Porter, uh, out of Camping World here in Tallahassee, actually Midway. And he knew that one of the complaints that I had about my Class C was that I wanted a little bit more space in the bedroom. So I was looking for something with a little slide out, still small, and this Class A showed up. My last uh, rig was 24 feet, this is 29, still under 30, and I love it. So this is a 2005 
sightseer. It has only 33,000 miles on it, which is about half, uh, actually more than half than my Class C. My Class C had about 77,000 on it. So this is the new uh, RV Jedi ride. Uh, we've got a name coming for it in a little bit, but how about we take a tour and I'll show you around the new rig. So here's the rig. It's in great shape, uh, 29 foot uh, Class A. It's a smaller Class A. So that's a look at the new rig. Uh, plenty more things to do with it uh, in the upcoming uh, weeks and months. Uh, very much like I did with my Class C. I'm going to take this out a couple of times, get a feel for it, uh, and then determine if there's anything else I want to do to it. I, I do have a couple of projects I know I want to get done, uh, but for the most part, I have to learn it. And just like back then, I am excited. Um, it feels a little weird. I'm on a red eye uh, to go get the RV. Uh, this is absolutely crazy because I've not actually uh, driven the RV or actually seen it in person. Uh, I did have an inspection. Uh, so this is a, a calculated gamble, but one I think is going to pay off big time. There it is, going to Dallas. And Duncan. Yeah, I won't do my whole Boston thing, but Duncan. Yeah. Friggin' Duncan Donuts, coffee, and a donut. There you go. Looking all over the country for an RV, you know, I really started it in earnest. Um, I think back in September of last year, when I finally paid off my RV, I then went and donated the RV. Uh, and again, that's when I really started to look hard for my next new to me RV. Um, took you uh, to an RV show with me. Um, you know, went to a car lot, looked at something, uh, looked at a couple of RV uh, dealerships just in general. I don't know, that's what I did for three, four months. I also looked at Craigslist. I looked everywhere that I could. The one place that I tried for the very first time was RV Trader and started uh, uh, tracking a couple of RVs there, which led me to this one. So as I was tracking um, various RVs on RV Trader, one came up 
uh, that I kind of had my eye on for a long time. And then um, a couple weeks ago, there was a drastic price drop. Uh, I went in, asked uh, for even a little bit more off because I was gonna have to fly out and, and pick it up and kind of do everything remotely. And uh, the dealership was really good and they said yes. So I went and got a inspection, an RV inspection, uh, top to bottom. Uh, and I was nervous as I waited to find out uh, whether or not it passed. It did. Um, for the most part, there were just a few little minor things and the RV dealership was taking care of them. Uh, but then I had a deal. I had a deal in place. I had to get them the down payment and everything. And uh, now I'm flying to go pick it up. So where am I going to get my RV? Wichita. Okay, it's a good thing I was paying attention. Uh, they switched the gate on me kind of last minute. It is time to board. Time now to go get my uh, bags and then head over to the dealership. All right, so I gotta go find the Uber so we can get out of here. So far the trip has been pretty good. The first flight um, seats were not good and that was a little rough. Uh, second one was a quick up and down like 53 minutes. Now I'm waiting for the Uber and off to get the RV. Just got done uh, doing the walkthrough and man, this is a really cool looking rig. Uh, I'm gonna load up my stuff here in a little bit and then um, take it out. A few more things we're just gonna check, but I think this could be really, really cool. So here's the big surprise. My new to me RV, a 2018 Winnebago Travato 59G. This is what I've been looking for. So there you have it, my new to me RV. Uh, again, a 2018 Winnebago Travato 59G. 
Uh, this is not the official tour. I will have one when I get back to Seattle, uh, but I am just so thrilled to have this. Uh, the folks here at Wichita RV were fantastic to deal with. Uh, if you're looking for an RV and they have lots of different RVs as well, make sure you uh, call over, ask for Mitch. He's the one who hooked me up with this uh, and I am just so grateful. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on the website at rvjedi.com. Hold out, wait for that perfect rig for you if you're looking and when it shows up, and if you use the force, you'll know when it's right to pull the trigger and get your dream RV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.